And you guessed it, we're back in Ohio. This has been um, a crazy trip. Finally, a traditional vlog clip here. So uh, we left San Diego on Monday. My dad was going to Colorado skiing and there was a vacancy in the hotel room and I didn't have anything else going on, so why not? I used some United Miles, flew out to Breckenridge, Colorado, one of the most beautiful towns in this country. Um, enjoyed a couple of days and then flew here to, to home, to Hudson, to Cleveland, uh, to Ohio, where it's a balmy 18 degrees right now. Um, Denver was 45 at 5,300 feet elevation. Breckenridge this morning was about 15 at 9,600 miles, 9,600 feet, 119 miles west of Denver. So Denver and Breckenridge are very different, different elevation, totally different snow. I mean, Denver had like a dusting of snow. Breckenridge has had seven feet in the past couple of weeks. So it's, it's insane. But we're here now. Uh, today was my grandmother's 94th birthday. Flew in today. We're going to see her tomorrow and over the weekend um, and celebrate that a little bit. And then just visit for a couple of days, enjoy the weekend, and then head out um, mid next week back to back to the West Coast. So of course we're missing some beautiful weather in San Diego. It's like 84 and sunny. Or well, today was cloudy, but 84 out there was 60 something when I left. Whatever, it's good to be home. Um, easy flight from Denver. I had an open seat next to me. There were two on the whole plane. I don't know how I get so lucky to have one next to me, but that was nice. Left um, early, came in about on time, maybe a couple minutes late, and then Kenan picked me up at the airport. And we came back here. Um, the battery light's not yet flashing. So um, Ted, Blue Bus Ted, did, um, he watched one of my vlogs, I don't know which one, like quite a while ago, and he noticed that the clock in the 330 wasn't set. It's just dash, dash, colon, dash, dash, because the, uh, the cluster button has like a plastic thing that breaks and then you can't twist it. There's no other way to set the clock. You can't do it in, PC, in PA soft, I in PA, Carly, there's no way to code it. So he's like, well, Bluebus is on iBus, so I'll just write a command for it. He sends me a firmware update. I plug it in, execute the command, boom, time set. How freaking cool is that? So like not even an advertised feature, but extremely common um, failure on the E46 is for that to go bad. So now you don't even have to leave the blue bus in there, just plug it in, code the time, and it will remember that, unfortunately, until you unplug the battery again. Um, or replace the battery because then you have to reset it again. But if you just have the blue bus, then you just run the command. It's literally set time. It was 12:18 a.m. So set time 0018, and boom, time set. So badass. I'm gonna wrap things up here tonight. I gotta unpack and get settled a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna shower tonight. I don't think it's already 12, 12:30. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday. Good night.